bonjour and hello YouTube. We are in France and we have our first hiccup. Um, we're gonna do a, a, a stream of videos from this trip um, down to the Alps. We're going mountain biking down in Alpe d'Huez, Leger, um, Val d'Isère. So it's gonna be a good one. But um, yeah, follow us for the journey. But our first hiccup uh, this morning, Joe. Don't. Don't. Joe. Don't. What did you do? He got the wrong toll tag, didn't he? So it as we, my fault, <laughs> as it was we got, Movis's fault. as we got to the uh, the gate, wasn't it, Luke? Yeah, <laughs> we got to the gate. We go through at thirty kilometres an hour. The gate opens, bleeps, and off you go. Looked in the rear view mirror or wing mirror. And there's Joe coming through at fucking fifty mile an hour. Gate goes smash. <laughs> gate Millions of pieces. <laughs> gate didn't open, did it? He bought the tag for it Portugal. Like eighteen. We've seen eighteen. He bought a tag for Portugal, didn't they? Bless him. So uh, he's going to have to <laughs> he's going to have to get a, a Monzo card and do the tappy tappy on the on the barriers. But uh, good start to the trip so far. But we'll uh, crack on now, get on the road, um, and we're driving all the way down to Alpe d'Huez um, in one go. So yeah, we'll uh, pedal to the metal. <laughs> We are in, however you pronounce it, you're probably better correct me if I'm wrong, but Rheim, Reims, it's probably not pronounced that, but um, Reims, the old racetrack. Um, so Joe's not seen it before. We've been here a couple of times. I've been here multiple. Um, it's normally the first stopping point on the way down into France. So we're here and uh, yeah, Joe hasn't seen it before. So we've come just to show him, but they're uh, clearly doing a bit of uh, work to the place which is nice to see, you've got the old BP livery and thing up there um, and the vans are just parked up but we'll, uh, it's quite, quite a popular place for people to come and take photos those that are uh, motor enthusiasts, but be it bike or car so we'll just go down there, go up into the grandstands hopefully because we've been able to get up there before get a few shots down there to so come with us It is time for a drink. After that journey was about 700 miles, wasn't it? 700 miles, I think we're well deserving of a, of a nice glass of wine. Uh, been kept cold all the way from the UK. I don't think you need a gazebo, Joe. What's this out of bloody gazebo? No injuries, safe riding, enjoy yourselves.
Cheers. Have a holiday. I've shown you, shown you these before. I'm going to show you again because they are the best thing. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Blissful. What more could you want? So the sun's just gone down. Just going to get a um, little fire on the go. Once that gets going, gets the uh, smoke in the air and gets rid of the, uh, the mosquitoes because the mosquitoes have come out now. There was a load of flies. They've since died off a bit, but just the mosquitoes. Put some bug spray on, but don't really fancy getting bitten. So fire's on. Dinner's going to be cooking. Spaghetti bolognese we're having. Uh, got enough wood to last us a little while. Just wait for this to kick going. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood. Not sure how much you can see YouTube, but uh, got grub being cooked. Spaghetti bolognese. With that as the view. Morning YouTube. Um, yeah, so good night's sleep last night after watching uh, the qualifying of the F1. Luckily we've got a bit of uh, mobile signal up here, so put the qualifying on. Um, yeah, so this morning my battery was fully, well, not quite fully charged on the uh, e-bike the e before I came away, but I wasn't too worried about it. I just sort of put my trust in the new system that we're going to be using um, while we're away for charging the e-bikes up. And that is through the Jackery. So I'm pretty sure I've shown you the Jackery before. If you haven't seen it, um, we've got a now a thousand, a Jackery 1000 uh, linked up to two solar panels. So at the moment, I'm topping up the e-bike through the AC power. We've got an input of 115 watts. And an output currently at 127 that's probably not the max it will be drawing because it's just topping up the battery at the moment but it's easily coping so you've got the solar panels harnessing the power of the beautiful sun up there and this is as clean as you can get for energy of charging an e-bike ain't no one plugging in a uh, into an ac uh, power socket you know in a hotel or whatever like that we are purely harnessing the solar power um to charge our bikes for this adventure um, so that's the Jackery 1000. I will give you a review throughout the holiday of how that's going, but at the moment, that's pucker. It's only got one bike on it, I must say, at the moment, and we're going to be putting two on it, so that'll be a real test. High bike all mounting six, ready to go, just obviously charging it up. Um, it's nice that we're going to be able to uh, try these in the Alps this year. Um, always rid them, rode them um, in the UK. But they've come for our adventure, and we're going to be riding those uh, in the mountains of the Alps. So currently in Alpe d'Huez and we're going to be making our way, hopefully, to Val d'Azerentines and then off up to, um, where am I going? Le Jay, uh, Morsi and Chatel, that area. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So yeah, the plan for today, chill, going to ride down into town um, and yeah, lift passes pick up tomorrow. So that'd be good. Can you have some water? Okay, he wants some water. Does he waste water? I'm not drinking. <sighs> Just have a bit of that in there. Okay. Anyway. Waste water. Alright, shall do it. What are you doing? Just um, cleaning my solar panel. So it will conduct a bit more electricity. So we moved our pitch from last night, because there were some people camped up here. So we were down there, and we just moved into this little bit, opposite the rocks, and we're just sort of prepping to get, get the bikes out, not for a riding day, but just to go down to the town, have a bit of brunch. Um, yeah, just sort of organising ourselves, still got a lot of stuff all over the place, but it seems like a lot of walkers come through this bit and hike up that way. But yeah, we'll uh, tidy up, make a tidy camp and then yeah get down into the town I think everyone's taking a picture of their burger we're at the burger house in Alpe d'Huez beer and burgers
So we've had a little ride down. We're going to have, have, have some lunch here now. Go back up to the van um, and have a shower in the waterfall. <laughs> Oh my god, the cheese is going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely man here is just giving us a shot. <laughs> right, so let's cheers. It's a weird shot, though. Go on. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Welcome, cheers, guys. Guys. Cheers. Oh. Sam basically dropped his helmet, so we had to take a shot for that. And then Joe um, spilled his, so we had to have another shot. But uh, we're gonna go back up to the van now. Uh, I'm buzzing for tomorrow. You wanna go? Uh, we go have a look at the shops then. Shops, shops back to the van. Get ready for tomorrow. First time in the Alps. Loving it. Back up to the camp spot. Uh, waterfalls up there, so that's where we're gonna go. But. Before we were gonna go up there, we just plugged the jackeries in with a double solar panel and we've got both of the high bikes charging. They've not used a lot, but it's good to keep them topped up. And we are drawing 120 watts from the sun uh, and there's 360 rounded up out. 370 now, but um, green energy sun's right high in the sky and we have both e-bikes charging on the jackery 1000 not a problem and it is not coughing or spluttering so i'll just put that in to save it getting too hot and we get ready for a shower that game changer there's a lot of things that are sometimes game changing when you're doing this sort of thing but that is truly a game changer green energy harnessed from the sun there's a paraglider up there sustainable energy Nature, nature's natural massage and shower. See you there, sir, laughing, ready to go. <laughs> Have I missed a bit? <laughs> if any of you are thinking about doing any Wim Hof stuff and you haven't, do it. The cold water is. Once you're in there, it's, it's the initial shot. Once you get past the initial shot, the initial shot good at nice as well. Good. What I'm more could away. you want? I'm going the way. And now we're out in the lovely warm. Oh, I'm, we came here last. So last time we were here, I wasn't vlogging. I wasn't doing any of the video stuff. I put together a short video. This year, obviously, as I'm talking to you now, I'm doing more of the vlogging stuff. We came here three years ago. Cat's gone back because it's so good. Yeah, crack on down. There's a bit of a bit of a treacherous path. You've already got a beer, but you can hold that. Made it. 